Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing some more Gemfire. And this is the Dawn of Ishmaria mod again. Um, it's been a bit since we played this. Kind of wanted to get back into it. I've always said I've been wanting to play this one a bit more. Uh, oh, can I seriously? Controller? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so last time we played this one, um, and we were the uh, the Garth family. Um, I, again, I don't know any of these scenarios or anything like that. Haven't looked into any of these anymore. Um, I've only played a, um, the previous one the one time. So we'll do this. We'll do scenario one again. We'll try out a different faction. It could be Uther. Yeah, last time we were Leonard, uh, and we had the, a young Garth. Um, we could be Stanley down here in the bottom left, we could, or we could be Stenkel right in the middle. Stenkel in the middle could be tough. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tempted to be Uther, because it seems like he is the one that should be, you know, the next in line and stuff. He's got the same um, Ezrold family symbol. So why don't we do that? Why don't we be Uther? Maybe we can take over the, the east. Oh, it is Langshar family. That would be why. It's time to unify Ishmaria for all the people. Indeed, after this warring, they deserve to live in peace. With Uther in charge, I guarantee that Langshire will win. And we have Skyla. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Uh, let's go Jade the Enlightened. Seems okay. Do some quick viewing, kind of see what we have around us, right? Actually, not too bad. Kind of want to take these guys out sooner rather than later, right? Prince Ivor, or Ivar, that's his, that's his home territory, okay. Is that his home territory? No, it's not. So it'll be 16 here. Kind of want to see where his home territory is. 30. Okay, it's pretty far south. Tempted to kind of just expand down. And actually, we should check out, like, what do we have? We only have Sila, which isn't that bad. So who has good attack and charm, uh, Norman, and we also have Roland, okay. It's actually not bad. Okay. Everything's average, as it usually is to start. Bugbear, lizards, and gunners. I mean, gunners aren't really good. Hmm. Bugbears are okay. Lizards were pretty good, too. Not quite as good as the dragon or the pasta, but they were right up there. Um, so we could get the Gunners, and then we could go for an attack next turn. I tend to like to just recruit at the beginning, just to get, like, those troops, because we kind of really need them. Wait a little bit. We don't want to be attacked. Let them attack people. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. 
everyone's attacking. <clears throat> because now it's like we can even attack with half and still be fine. I think we want to do that. Or we attack with most. Um, we'll bring Sila because I don't know what they have. Seems fine. Oh, they don't even have anything. Well, we just beat this with the wizard, I guess. Okay, so they improve Sila's abilities as well. I think in the original she's just a one, one thirty. Yeah, because Trila is the 120, Skalric's the 110. So they bumped her up to a 145. So that's actually kind of nice. Now, if only... If only they could, um... Improve the AI in the game as well in these mods. That would be great. It's still a fun game, and it's been a while, and this mod does make things, you know, feel a little bit better, to say the least. Oh good. Means we can get in there and get these archers off. Dead. We hit through 25 last time. Yeah. Yeah, we will move up. We might lose some troops there, but I'm not that worried about it. Apparently, we didn't need to bring in the. Uh, the wizard, though, for this. We'll get in here. We'll take that out as much as we can, because I want to move people around. Nice. honest, you can actually just stay right there. I think we're done with that. No point in getting attacked. For no reason by archers or whatnot, so... Yeah. Kinda thought that was gonna be the case. That's fine. Because we can actually just come in here and do this. <laughs> okay. 
her attack is still loud. So, <laughs> never tone that down. Got it. Um, Alright, more than likely they're gonna run here, so... I'm actually just gonna break that just so we can get in there after. Yeah, they retreated. Perfect. Yeah, that's actually perfectly fine with me. Oh, nice. Buy most and then give a hundred away for everything. We're actually just going to move some and some. Please don't hit me right away. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Okay. And actually, while we're here, we should be doing this now. Let's do some get our buildings up, etc. Develop. I wish we had a uh, done that. I'm gonna change the lord here. Uh, to a vassal, and I wanted it to be, I think, Roland, right? Roland was, like, the next best. So Norman, yeah, Roland had high charisma and attack, so we're going to make that Roland. go. He's even younger. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, we can't do a whole lot else here. Lord Anthony. What is he at? Okay. He's not too bad of a uh, person. I'm going to try to plunder, I think, from over here. Just try and get something out of it. <clears throat> it's like now we're at a point where we kind of need to get our... Um... <clears throat> Sorry. Where we need to get our incomes and things up, so. Nice. Let's just steal from steal from them and make sure we're all good here. Perfect. Even better. The more the merrier, basically. Okay, now I think at this point we can develop and same thing down here. I think if we get that protection up, it'd be uh, pretty beneficial while the others get the cultivation up. Please not us again. Double hit by Plague? Oh, you're gonna make me get hit by these two, aren't you? Well, surprisingly, only one. So 18 was flooded, 19 and 20 were plagued. <laughs> Lovely. That's just how it goes, doesn't it? What was the point of developing if we're just gonna get hit by things, right? 
Um, still want to get this stuff up though. Malcolm of the Chrysalia's family suddenly died. Well then. That's not good. For them. Uh -huh. Um, I do want to give a bunch more food out because we want that loyalty up. Um, so that we produce more. Some of those are very loud. Oh, nice. A charm. So increase our charm. That's good. Um, yeah, keep on that cultivating. Because it's about to be the new season. Hopefully we don't get plagued again. Oh come on. What is this nonsense? Okay. Alright. We're gonna sell at least half of that. I'd actually, rather than build up my army here, I'm going to send this down to 20. Yeah, we'll do this, something like that. But here, we're going to hire... They have Lancers. Nice. Because we're probably going to want to bring bring it with us. I was thinking the bugbear bugbear's cheap. We can go to the west to 22, while 20 can go down, and then we can go from 22 to 28. Just kind of have this like little block down here, um, and having bugbears is better than nothing. gonna sell some recruit with most have a nice big army here repelled the attack nice yeah I wish we could do a couple things at once 12 into 18 um, okay We'll, I mean, we'll fight, and we'll use our wizard, so. I think he has a wizard too, right? Oh, no, he's bringing a bugbear. Interesting. I'm not used to being attacked, so this is odd. If we go one, two, he'd have three spaces and he could come hit us. So we just want to go one, I think. Gonna send you up here. Wait. Wait. I still want to wait you here in case he needs to go up. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. Yeah, um, break that fence. So then we can just come here with our wizard and take. Oops, take out your bugbear. Nice big hit there. Do 
do want to send the archer down just to kind of help take them out. Let's kind of do this. Okay. Oh, we hit them hard enough where that didn't even matter, eh? Couldn't even break the fence. That's fantastic. I mean, we can basically do this with our wizard, so... Nice. I do want to try and fence these spots off. attacked me. <laughs> like, what is this nonsense, right? Perfect. Even better. We are just going to do this, let, uh, like I said, let our wizard just take a front of the attacks here. Nice. Even better. Yeah, we'll keep those fences going. Maybe. here on this guy. Remove most of him from the fight. All of him from the fight, even better. I don't know if we'll kill the bugbear here, but we should get it pretty good. It's only 38. Yeah. I mean, I'm still pretty happy with that be in a spot where their archer can't just shoot us. Even better. Almost got him. We'll take him out with the archer. there. Take out the bugbear. And they just have some archers left. So we're just going to go right here and wait. And he's just... Did he just defend? Yep. So yeah, coming back to play this after um, Symphony of War is interesting. <laughs> yeah, they're similar games, right? They're not totally out of the water from each other, which is kind of neat. At least in terms of like this part. 
empire building, kingdom building, and then tactical battles. Oh, we did lose one guy. Yeah, they retreated. We lost one guy. Um, I do want to hire something here. Spearman throw, which is very nice. Pikeman don't. I think I'm going to go with the Spearman. And then we can attack into 21 next. Same thing here. I'd like to get something in case we get attacked again. Really don't want orcs, so let's go Ulahais. Now we want to recruit a good chunk of that. Then we want to go 20 into 21. Can we still plunder these guys? We can. So I'm going to start doing that. They want an alliance with us. I'll take it for now. Because it does make it a little bit easier for us to... Um, Hold off. He has 175. 173. Okay. I'm going to go down with most because I really want to get into 30. We'll take the spearmen with us. Five days of food seems fine. Yeah, because that's that's the nice thing with the uh, monsters and stuff, the mercenaries. They'll come. Oh, they move three. That's even better. Uh, they'll come with you. There we go. I swear, like, this song is super loud. It's just that, like, one part of the song that just, like, goes. Oh, I should have broke that. Whoops, my bad. Yeah, I like this part here, that's a little loud. <laughs> Looking at like the audio levels and it's around the same level as my mic, so always fun. Alright guys. Throw your spears. Nice hit. up and attack me or no? No. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I'll just keep throwing stuff at him. Throwing stuff and shooting. Very nice. Only one left.
you know, give, open it up so if he wants to attack our horseman over on the front, he can. Seems kind of silly if he wanted to, though. Yeah, then we'll come in here with the flank onto the archers. here and get the rear on the horse. Nice. And then that's just kind of that. And they've retreated already. Perfect. Very little um, in the way. Um, I'm going to go gold because we need it. To pay for the dudes here. He only has 35. We're just gonna keep the uh, pressure on him then. capture him. I know it's highly unlikely that we will, but there's a chance. Oh nice, we did break it. Wasn't expecting it over there, so... here, see if we can kill eight of them. Oh, well, we'll just assault in here. Frontal, if we need to. And there's just a free shot from the archers, so. retreated. And we've captured him. Recruit. Well, I'm tempted to keep him um, here because his stats are so terrible rather than banish because if Anthony becomes the um, leader, that's much worse for us. So we'll release him. feeling I know where this is going on us. Oh, that is extremely surprising. And that one can't get us. Yet. Oh, come on. Okay. We're gonna buy some extra 
We're gonna send some stuff down to like Yeah, we'll do something like that. Um kinda wanna recruit some more. Let's have a good standing army up there. Oh well. They're getting wise to us in our plundering. Um, I'd like to buy a bunch more. And before I give it away, actually, probably should get the Lord in there. So here. Seth. Oh, he's so young. <laughs> and Hakon is also pretty darn young. It's quite funny to see those. Um, we actually do need to sell a little bit. Because we need to have um, money for the mercenaries. Okay, 78, 173, 126. Oh, did they put his capital way over there? Okay. If we had money, I'd say we could just attack again. Well, we don't have money, but we have food. Because he has 173 here, which is actually a decent amount. Um, but we really want to do some building up right now. Actually, extremely nice that we've got that alliance to the north of us right now. Um, okay, that's actually not bad. We're gonna send money down here. And continue just developing these other ones. Just to get them up like to give more food out in that 40 to 50 range. Yeah, he's only 78. We'll continue with the spearmen. We'll bring eight days of food this time just to have a bit more. Yeah, he's got orcs, so I'm glad that we brought something here of substance. This could be interesting with how they line up their um, orc. I'm just gonna wait because we want to bring all this stuff around here. Two, three. Yeah, because then we go one, two, and shoot. That should be fine. Here we're not actually going to attack because I just want to get you over here. Yeah. 
and you can come back down here just to kind of help out down there. Maybe you guys can build your fences, who knows. And then this way... We're able to kind of determine if we... Hmm. Oh man, I think if we attack, he'll just be stuck there. So depending where that orc goes... Nice, that's actually huge. Huge for us. Because this is what we need. 30 down, yeah, that's nice. Like, if they attack us, we'll kill them anyways, so we might as well lessen that as much as we can. And just be done with that there. Because you know the horseman's going to attack. The knight will move up. The orc will be behind. Then I can move the horse, put the la or the spearman there to attack the orc, while the archers take out the knights. And they're still flanked, so that's even better. Should be another 30 gone. Then it'll just be a matter of rushing them down. <laughs> We're only doing six damage, but it's better than none. Oh, they didn't even move. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, I'm glad these spearmen have remove go chase them down perfect and they didn't retreat which is actually kind of surprising We can just go here and do this then. Yeah, there we go. Um, again, need the gold as much as I want to get the food. Very nice. Not very nice. Okay. Again, we're gonna get some of that away just to get that loyalty back up. Um, I'd like to get that up now. Good, you guys occupy each other. Um... What is Seth's stats? His charisma's not very good. Because I was thinking about... Um, oh, and that's Anthony there. That's less good. Um, trying to force them to surrender to us. We can try it. Yeah. Wasn't expecting that to work, but you never know. Okay. Perfect. The more of that we can take from everybody else, 
the better. Uh, first things first, so we are going to sell just some of that and give some of that away. Oh, I forgot to um, do stuff here. Shoot. Darn. Um, can we do it again here? We can, okay. So if we can make it so they can't attack us because they don't have enough anything, that would be lovely. Yeah, that's pretty nice, up to 40 protection and so forth. Yeah, we'll get that up for the last time here. Still average. And then we're going to need some big recruitments here, I think. Once we, uh... Very nice. More charm. Very nice. More money. Plunder from these guys? No. Too bad. We tried. Can you plunder from those guys? You can. Honestly, that's not a bad thing. Can you force them to surrender? <laughs> Darn. Uh, I tried. We don't have any more, um... Any more people, so... Yeah, he's bloodline, so he wouldn't... But that doesn't mean we can't try. Yeah, we need this... Oh, the Ulahais have deserted us. That's fine. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, some troops. And some more troops. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, we have no more money up here, so can't do anything about that. Um... Honestly, see if we can make some of these guys try and surrender to us if we've got nothing else to do. Continually plunder if we can, even if it's pit pittance. <laughs> it's a pittance, but that's okay. very close to where we need to be. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue that. Anything down in the 20s is really rough. Can't accept an alliance with you because I want to take you out. You sabotage him. Nice. He only has 65 troops, which is huge for us, but then we're right next to this guy who has, like, nothing. Holy moly. <laughs> I mean, could just attack in then. With most again. Keep going with the spearmen. Three days of food? That sounds about right. Right. 
He's got some skeletons. Which is really nothing. Oh, and that's all he did is move. Alright, so does skeletons only start with 80 now? That's interesting. Or have these been attacked once or twice before? That I don't know. Or don't remember from the last time that I did this mod, so... need to break whatever we can. I do like this music. Quite a bit. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> do, 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 do. Too bad it doesn't quite work for um, my D and D campaign. <laughs> it's close though. Yeah, we don't we don't have very long in order to uh, get these guys all here and everything. So nice. We'll do this because that's the only threat we have are these skeletons. And now there's not. So now we can do this and at least start attacking in here with the archers. At least a little bit while well, we can kind of focus down on this fence. Maybe. Still couldn't break the fence. Okay. I'm gonna do this just to get rid of the this archer unit so they really can't hurt us. And then we're gonna send this guy up here as much as we can. Just take them all out, basically. Just need one shot from these guys. It's nice to use the monsters and stuff for a change rather than just wizards. It does breathe, a l I mean, it doesn't breathe new life into the game, but it breathes some extra life into the game, you know? I mean, think about it, this game's been out since, what, 1992, 93? Couldn't tell you how many times I've beaten it. At least, you know, dozens. I mean, even on this channel, I think I've played through it eight or nine times. So, you know, there's that to consider. And that's just on my channel. Not even uh, anything else. Come on, we can break this. 
right? Well, yeah, they retreated there. Perfect. Good. We captured him again. Still refuses to join us. Sorry. Right. Well, that's fine. What I want to see now is if this family will surrender to us. No. So this is where he went. He took over that one rather than where Anthony is. Let's just keep stealing from him. Up past the... Perfect! Alright, do you want to surrender now? <laughs> no, refuse that, because we're still in an alliance. Why would we ever want to, um... Okay, we still have a bugbear here. We still have a bugbear here. We could attack in then. Even if it's just with, like, most. Bring the bugbear. That seems pretty... pretty good to me. Oi, what the heck is this map? <laughs> this is probably my least favorite one. Uh, just in the game, like, this is... this is terrible. Easy bugbear versus skeleton. Um, I'm going to move you here. We might have to send you up. Yeah, we'll just do that for now because I need the bugbear going. So if we go here, we will be attacked. So let's go here, wait for him, and then this way we can start the assault here. And do it this way. I mean, in theory, we could just hold back because they only have 10 food. <laughs> Didn't even think about that, to be perfectly honest. They have to attack me. So that's kind of funny. I didn't even think about that. Nice. Then we just do this and we'll win. <laughs> just get in there, just keep on pushing them, because we can. Lose a couple troops, but it's nothing crazy, that's for sure. The skeleton's running? Yeah. Now we just get the rear attacks on them the entire time. Could outright kill them now. Ah, oh, that's close. We didn't take damage, so that's also pretty good. We might get shot by the archers once, but not worried about it in the least. <laughs> I 
He actually gets an extra day out of it because we killed enough guys. That's funny. Three food left. Alright, we'll just kill him. It's probably faster to do that anyways. I'm just going to move the once, just in case. down once and we'll move up here <laughs> uh, like the AI in this game is so silly again. He still refuses to join us. Alright. Well, that just makes attacking into here like a hundred times easier for me. Which is fantastic. I want to plunder it as much as we can so he doesn't just decide to attack me. I mean, he still doesn't want to surrender. That's insane to me. He has 196 troops, though, which is a good amount. He shouldn't be able to attack us because he has no money, he has nothing. Well, do we attack in then? With you and the Pastha? It's three days of food. Should be fine. Probably should take him five. Now that I'm thinking about it. You guys to basically defend and just send the Pastha over to attack. Is the idea, I think. I mean, he only has one day of food versus us with two. Can we build fences up here? Nice. They didn't make it so the Pastha can go across water, eh? <laughs> And then we'll just kind of wait here, because I don't really know... ...what to do about all that stuff. We could just starve him out, basically. He won't be able to kill us in that time. Just go stall. We'll wait. Basically. It's just these orcs that could be an issue. are so weak though. <laughs> we killed more of his than he killed us. Which is actually kind of funny. Okay. I am gonna move... No, that seems like a terrible decision.
Hmm. If we do something like this. See if we can build that fence there. Nice. Because that gives us the pasta to be able to come over here. is fine. Yeah, I think this is one where we actually try to starve them out. Because we need to get this here. And then we just wait. They're going to take a big hit from the orcs. But that's it. Here. We're stalling them. You just fence up there. <laughs> How about you fence somewhere? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. Yeah, see, they've got to, like, send out their guys now because they have no food left. This is an odd one to uh, starve them out. Not necessarily how I would normally do this, but hey. Yeah, they, they won't be able to reach us in that time. Which is fantastic. So if they don't kill these knights, that would be great. Knight. Oh, pff, never mind. Not even close. Alright. Hmm. Well... <laughs> that works. I think we just, uh, we win from here. <laughs> uh, this is great. Yeah, our horsemen might not even die by the end of the day. We're gonna come down here just because wherever he goes in any two towards us, he will be dead. And we'll send new guys up here just in case. Perfect. Yeah, having the pasta is very nice. Yeah, there's, the horsemen are still up. That's fantastic. I don't want some weird, like, situation where... Where they get... Like, we still need to attack and take them out, right? Just in case something weird happens. So we'll do this. We'll at least get some archers in to support the knights. And it should be quite a bit more fair here. Oh no, not my pasta. You shot it. For two damage. <laughs> yeah, not too worried about that.
Fantastic. So we only did like four damage with our guy, so I'm not even going to worry about attacking. Because we won't be able to kill it. But we should be able to do some damage. I don't know if we'll kill on a frontal assault now. We're not full strength. Pretty close, though. They ran a food. We win. Still refuses to join us. I'm going to release him still, because he's still terrible, so whoever he goes to, it's not that great. Oh, now he goes... <laughs> really? Alright, we'll take Regis as well. I have nothing against him. Okay, let's change lords in some of these places. Um, sure, Regis. And here, Francis, you can have your territory back or whatever it was, right? I want to give 100 food away to the people. Well, I guess we're not doing a whole lot here, so... Here, we, we got something out of it. And we've already taken over, it's year two, an entire family. That was fantastic. Nice. Things didn't hit us this time. It's fantastic. Anytime there's people attacking, it's like, oh, are they attacking me now? It's like, hopefully not. Um, I want to sell actually like a majority of that. I really want to start building up everything. Yeah, we've got, like, nothing here, so... Um, if we can plunder them again... Just do what we can there. Um, sell most of that. We're actually gonna send most and all the food there. Oh, and actually, what we could do is move troops from you into 22. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Roland didn't get, like, anything here, so. But I do want to give away a ton of food. They have 86 troops there, 15 there. Like, it makes me want to still do this because we need the money. And then we can just go into 25-26, right? With a healthy army. And I'd like to move those 40 troops into there with half and half. Yeah. Same thing here. Easily sell half of that and move um, all the troops and half and half. And all of a sudden, 28's looking pretty happy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna attack in here with most of our troops. With the spearmen still. With five days of food. Perfect. That's what we need. And we still have a wizard available. Which is... Oh, jeez. I thought that crashed or something. Um, beneficial because... Oh, yeah. They've got Empyrean. Okay. 
We should still be able to do this against Empyrean with the with the Spearman. We just kind of have to rush up the side and make him go back, right? If we can send our units up this way. Make him kind of go over there and let the lant or the spearmen kind of do their thing. Attack, retreat. We will always be getting a flank hit on him pretty well wherever he goes. Yeah, and actually that is really good for us here in terms of this. Actually might have been beneficial just to attack with every troop because there's a very good chance we're going to Yeah, there we go. Um, that we could have just um... okay. I want to fence as much as I can over here just to really like Simsidium into a certain area. So if he goes here, we have a flank. If he goes here, we can come up here and get a flank. Or ring around the rosy and have you flank. So I kind of want to keep you here for right now. Now if they retreat, that's even better. Because now I can send the horsemen... Yeah, there we go, that'll be good. The horsemen go right every time. To start, like, pulling him back, right? We wait. Alright, archers come down here. Start blasting this bubble. I mean, 150 is pretty rough for us. Versus, like, the 145 of Skyla, but we have range guys, and depending on where he goes, again, like, this should be a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Like, I still feel fairly confident with this. Okay. Interesting. Not what I was expecting him to do. But again, we can do this, flank hit, then we can also get a rear attack on him too. Even though it won't be very much. Like, it's still 10 damage to his wizard, right? And then we can come down here, which I don't really, <laughs> don't really want to, to be perfectly honest. Because he's probably going to go for the fence, which is great. Nice. Actually, that's huge. We're gonna fence there. All right, we weren't able to, but we are going to be able to do this. Big hits. This should drop him down to like what 56? Nice. We are gonna break that now. Just as a uh, weird in case. Perfect.
even better now that Archer is stuck and dead. <laughs> it's like now does Empyrean actually start running back or is he still stuck here? Yeah. There we go. Even better. It's like I know we could um, get a rear attack here, but I'm quite happy just doing this. One space, shoot back. Now we can do this. We'll just send him back one. Just be done there. An Empyrean should start should run away pretty quick here. Depending where he goes, yeah, we can probably make him run with the archers, because he'll be at what 16, I think, under around there is when they run, so. Or not. That's a pain. <laughs> Alright. There. Made him retreat. Haven't taken any damage yet. Which is huge. I should have sent the uh, knight over there to start breaking those. That's okay. We'll get there. Need a break, break. And then send the spearmen over. Nice. Okay, as long as that one's broken, then it doesn't matter. But that is helpful either way. Two, three one yeah like, yeah we're not gonna have lots of food or supplies after but this should be okay nice Does this outright kill them? I think it should. Yeah, perfect. And then I think this is just uh, leaving them at like two health or three. Just for the fun of it, see if we can. But they should retreat here. Yeah. Nice. Um, we'll take the food. Now. Okay, yeah, they've only got 20 troops. I'll do like a most... Continue with the Spearmen. I don't know why I did three days again, but I did. So, assuming they... Oh, they don't even have... They've got nothing. Alright. Full-on rush. Let's get them. I'm literally just going to send everybody... This is an interesting one. 
this map. <laughs> I actually kind of like this one. There we go. It'll be interesting where to put the spearmen, though. I guess. That'll be the big thing, won't it? And this guy can't retreat, can he? Because he... is stuck. I mean, we might as well just get that out of the way, kill him. This one's actually kind of weird to because we can't really put our archers and stuff in a position to attack well here. Like the spearmen can't actually attack from the south. So I don't know what really to do there. <laughs> so, not that it's going to matter too much. That's that's huge. Because this should just be the kill. Even frontal. 30 against 5. Should be it. Yeah, we lost one. Recruit. He refuses to join us. That's okay. We'll send him back into the wild. Yeah, there's only 15 there. Um, honestly, I'd just like to recruit so much here, like that. Into 17, 17 has a good amount, so it's like, I don't really want to do that. So let's build up here. Um, I don't mind sending to like 28 some stuff although I'd also like to just recruit develop etc in these other places <laughs> okay so we are moving all our troops there, spearmen included. Most of the gold, most of the food. Um, I mean, do they want to surrender to us? They do! Done. Even better, actually. That's huge. Lord Bob. <laughs> Leander. Okay. So these guys and Cyrus. Okay. Aegile. Arnold. I mean, these guys look like they're going to be a little bit tougher. Niels, Ivar, Voril, Irvin. Tobias actually has a good amount of troops. Oliver and Leonard. Carlisle. Raphael. Okay. Okay, okay. So here, um, 
Yeah, we're just gonna continue developing. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Um. Yeah. Really want to develop in these areas. Okay. So we have Lord Stanley here. Um, I want to see if they have... Okay, they have orcs here. See if we can plunder a bit. Just to keep those orcs and everything here. Um... All we'll send the spearmen to most of the gold, most of the food. All right, we need vassals, Dimitri. Sure, vassal Steve. Okay. That one? Yeah, okay. Andre. Andrea. Okay. Perfect. And here... Prices are low, so we're actually just gonna... Buy what we can. We're gonna give out a hundred food to the people. Um... I'd love to... Send like half the troops there. Some gold, some food. And here. Yeah, let's buy half of that. And build up. And basically that's what we're going to be doing here now. We can actually build up these backline ones to build that economy and bring that engine forward, right? So... 210, 236. Like, we do need some more um, food here. If we attack in here with like half, 210 and 236, right? We have our bugbear that we can attack in with. How about instead of that, we do most and the bugbear? We have five days of food? We do. Because then we can bring 19's troops into 22. They have Pluvius. <laughs> what the heck? Why do they have Pluvius? That doesn't seem fair. Okay. Because now he can go 1, 2, we can go 1, 2, 3. Oh my goodness. Well, this is bad. Pluvius can win like on his own so this this could be bad we'll see though we'll get that first hit in roland's a good army guy so we may be able to um you know do something with that maybe his stats are higher i never, didn't look at this guy's stats martin's stats so i guess we'll see I want to get our horses across and over as best as we can. Yeah, we want to do this. You know, just hit them. 117 to 52, we'll kind of see what that takes us like. Okay, we lost five. They lost, like, not as much as I was hoping. <laughs> So his army, or his, like, uh, strength is probably pretty good. Okay. It 
it's just Pluvius is going to be the issue, right? Okay, he's coming down there to attack the bugbear. Not great, because that means Pluvius can go forward and strike our knights. But this could mean that they might get stuck down here while our horses go up and attack up there, right? This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Maybe we should have brought a wizard here. That's okay. Well, they're almost done. But we want to hit in here and then move the knights forward. Like, that's that just has to happen. The bugbears can come in, attack the archers. Not, not probably going to do a whole lot here. But I'm glad that I have at least a fifth unit with this. That's going to help out. Because I don't want Pluvius attacking my archers, right? So... Because the archers are going to be beneficial. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. But I do want to bring you guys up. I don't want to build a fence there in case I have to retreat back. But yeah, if the horse takes up that top fence, right? And then starts wailing on the knights. That could be very good for us. Because then we could sneak in, hopefully, and take them out. Archers need to be, like, outright destroying them. Nice. Um, to be perfectly honest, we're going to keep throwing our knights at Pluvius here, because he's got to get hurt. keep this knight here just in case something bad goes wrong. It's very likely it will. Oh, he's attacking my archer now. Okay. That's less good how he moved like that, because now I can't shoot him. Don't like that at all. But see, now we break that, and we're in here. Now we wait, we come here, and actually, if we can kill this guy off, like, Pluvius is stuck. And he can't actually do anything. So we, we actually just kind of boxed him in. So we'll leave it as is right now. but they didn't do anything with it, which is fine. One archer is not going to do anything to me. I'd rather hit Pluvius still because he's still the biggest threat. Do this. Nice. He did build that fence, so I do need to break it. Now we can send these knights this way. Um, there's 38 of us here. Let's go up this way and attack them down. It's a flanking hit. We have less, but... 
I think that will be fine. Yeah. Lost nine, they lost seven. It's not bad. It's like, now who is Pluvius going to try to hit? Probably the archers would be my guess. Oh, that's surprising, actually. like to make him run away, that's for sure. I mean, that's a, that's a good strike there. Send 103 knights in against a, uh, under 33% uh, health Pluvius. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't think this will make him retreat. So I think we come here and hit the horses. Weaken them a lot, because now our knights against the horses are basically equal. Horses are slightly more powerful, but... And then your, the stats, so yeah, we did one more damage to them than they did to us on an attack. Oh, you bugger, come on. <laughs> uh. Nice. The singular archer is going to attempt to do something to us. It did take out one. That is actually kind of surprising. Good. Our knights can hit Pluvius from the side. Then we can attack the other knight with our archer. Yeah. This should make him run away. These attacks will be good because then he'll have a harder time building his fence while we have an easy time breaking his fence. Now I imagine he's going to run away here. stuff. I would like to buy a good amount of that. Because <laughs> these guys didn't seem like they had much. So here we go. Same thing. Um, let's send that up to, like, these front lines. And all in all, like, things are going quite decent for us. Nice, free army. It's less good. Nice. We have, like, no food. Okay. 
Could be worse. Okay, now we can send all of our stuff into this one. Yeah, there we go. Kind of view what these guys have. Like, as much as I'd love to, like, build this up, I think attacking is probably our best bet here. With everything. We'll take the spearmen, because the spearmen are still pretty freaking good. And we just continue to do this. Yeah, they have Skullric. That's kind of what I thought. He's pretty good too, because of the maneuverability. Like a Zendor style, right? Three movement and range versus three movement and... Um, like, full range, though, right? So anywhere in that outside square. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we can get up to here, probably break that. So we really actually don't want to move too many people. Maybe just something like this. kind of figure out what the heck we want to do. Like, them to come at us. Yeah, okay, perfect. We're take out their wizard as much as we can, full-on spearman attacks, nice, 18, we'll take an 18. I don't really want to break that, same thing here, Just kind of wait on everything. So I'm interested to see where he goes. Oh, he's just going to attack me there. Okay. So he's just going to attack that guy. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but that's fine. Nice. Actually, that's that's pretty good for us. Because we can just come in here, take this shot. While we do this. really focus the uh, ranged attacks on Skullric here. Very good. Because I could move him here, but that's bad because if he goes here I can't, can't do anything. With, with the Spearman. I'm gonna try to fence there just to see. Actually, if I fenced there, that would have been bad because I, again, couldn't move the Spearman. Okay, now he's gonna shoot the Spearman. That's fine. Let, let the, have these guys battle with each other. That's fine. Because from there he'll lose. Yeah, he's going straight up there, which is fine. He's going to lose that fight to me.
while we can do this. Really weaken them down. And if I'm concerned, I could attack the horse with the spearman, but I'm not concerned. Not yet. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he's already down into the 50s. And then we can just do this and really hurt him. Or outright kill him. One of the two. That's close. <laughs> Let's put it that way. That was close. Alright. Hopefully this kills him. There we go. And pretty quick here we'll be able to run back the other way. Get these shots in. Get the horsemen behind them. Then I think we'll be good. Feels like we're flying through this one today. It's kind of nice. Oh, so close. Well, if he attacks, he'll retreat. So don't have to worry about him anymore. Oh, he didn't retreat, so it's not at 13. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Down to one. Yeah. Yeah, I still can't outright kill them. But that's fine. have the easy time. <laughs> Just shoot. That's all we need to do. Just shoot. Because yeah, we can get to here and start attacking from here. Well, you guys can come up this way and do the same. That should be pretty good. It's so fun to use, like the spearmen and stuff. I never get to use them. Uh, this is so good. Alright. And we'll just do this attack in here, right? Didn't even sh like <laughs> that's the thing that annoys me sometimes is like why not even at least shoot your with your archers but hey whatever perfect um, I'm gonna do this and attack him with the rear attack it's probably the best That's pretty good. And 
can't we just keep on doing this until they're gone? Yeah, weaken these guys down as much as we can. I'm not going to nitpick over a few lost soldiers here and there, so let's just get in there, take them out. Let's see if we can force them to surrender here. Yeah, there we go. Even better. Whew. Looking good. We already have, like, almost half of the map. Okay, he's got tons of food, so that's good. I'd like to give out a hundred of that to the people. Same thing. As much as we can. Um, I do want to move those troops, though. There we go. It's like now we have to be a little bit cautious here because we have three different people that could attack. So at this point, we do this. Um, I'm tempted to see if these guys want to surrender. And they do, so that means we get Pluvius. That's phenomenal. <laughs> All right. That's fantastic, actually. Holy fantastic. Um, I want to move troops up. I don't want to really move the money. Okay. So that means you have 262, you have 174. Nothing down there. Okay. We will move half, some and some. And here, <laughs> you think we can get them to surrender us? Oh, this is fantastic. I like never do it like this way. This is great. Well, this might be a fast game for us, if this is how it's going to be. Um, the Torton family has surrendered. Fantastic. Um, I do want to see just, like, what all these states are like. <laughs> They only have 11. Okay, we gotta get some troops up here. Um, yeah, let's just move all... Yeah, we can move the orcs, sure. Half, half, done. Let's get all that up there. Lord Cyrus, same thing. Move all of our troops up there. Sure, you take a bugbear with you. Most, most. Norman, since we aren't doing a whole lot here. Okay, the Chrysalis family doesn't want to surrender to us. What about the Shoff? The Shoffs don't either. They broke our alliance. That's fine. Okay. We're at a point, though where I don't care. <laughs> he has a ton of troops, though. So does he. So does he and he... Oh, Niels doesn't, actually. Okay. Well, we can attack in. We could attack over here, or do we have, like, can roll in 580? Yeah. So we could actually attack in onto this side, 292.
let's say 400. Take some orcs with us? We've got two sets. What? What other? Uh, he probably has chrysalis. Chrys chrysalis. So let's take a set of orcs. We'll actually take a decent amount of food. And we'll do this. Oh, Chris Chrysalis. Why did I say Chrysalis? Um, Chyla. That's the one. And she's bumped up to a 140. Okay. Oh, it's because I said Chrysalis because that's the um, that's the banner, right? So three, one, two, three, or three. So no matter what, we can just move up. Perfect. Love it. What I'd like to do is just something like this fence. just get up there kind of force force her to come down on the south side with the fences and stuff I mean this also works too let's get the orcs in there and just start slamming her perfectly honest if the orcs die the orcs die um, I'm not that worried about it but this is more so what we want right force them into positions where they have to lose a lot of men and we can get our archers in here while we can also kind of delay them Perfect. That's great for us. That means we can just attack them basically freely there. Even better. Nice. Big hit there. Um, I'd love to do this, because we can, and then we don't really have to worry about these guys. Perfect. Try to break through our barriers now. <laughs> this is how I feel about that. And they're gone. Even better. Now this is the conundrum. I think I'll rather take out the archer than the wizard here. I think we'd do more damage to them, and then even if they do get away from us and start running back, they at least can't um, damage us that much. Yeah, so the wizard's going there with whatever, fine. We kind of send the orc to the right then, and have them um, do as much as we can there. Annoy them over there. Or do we just have the orcs continually attack Chyla? I think we could do that, because if they die, they die. I mean, we don't have to pay them. And she's already at just 70, so if we fence here, and we just kind of do this, like, we'll make them want to retreat. And we'll send uh, these knights that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is going quite well for us. Oh, now she's going to strike at us. Perfect. Good. Take out my orcs. Wow, that was loud. I'm kind of surprised the archer didn't attack my orcs, but hey. Who really cares? <laughs> what are they going to do? Like, like, the AI in this game is just makes me laugh sometimes, right? Yes, I could attack with the archer first, but again... The orcs die, the orcs die. And besides, I think... We'll be fine here. I think I attack it once more just to be on the safe side against the knights when whenever she gets to that point. Yeah. Because we're doing 20 to her. And now she's not even attacking, okay. Let's move. Let's just keep attacking with the orcs. I mean, they're not going to make her run away, but she's also not going to be able to do anything to us. Music is fantastic. I've I've missed this. I really have. It's a fun one. Like we're doing things that I don't generally do in this game, which is kinda neat. Oh, come on. That's who you attack? Might as well do this then. Perfect. that see if they want to retreat yet yeah he does build that fence not very nice but we should be able to break both it's like now we should probably attack her because she could still do some damage to us Whichever one he doesn't repair will be nice, because the other one, you know, yeah, we'll get the uh, rear assault here. And that's what we kind of want. Not my orcs. Make them run away. I 
Fortunately, our orcs do not die. <laughs> Can't even kill them off. That's okay. And we couldn't even break that. Or are they just going to retreat here? They did not. That's surprising. I for sure thought they would. Four strength 39. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was like t telling me something that I've never seen before, but no, it hasn't. <laughs> uh, can't quite get the kill. Too bad. This should be a retreat. There we go. Even better. Okay. Um, what do we need to do here? Make them surrender to us. Even better. Uh, we are going to move these troops up because we don't need them down here. I'd like to see if they want to surrender to us now. And they do. Even better. So the only ones left are these guys. And will they surrender to us now that we control everything else? They do not. Okay, well, we do want to change some of these. We have lots of people now. Johnny. Steve. Regis is there. Hack on. All right. Oops. Harold. Roland. Okay. Oh, does that mean 19 is Uther as well? Okay. Like, it doesn't even matter who these people are. Um, you know, let's go Anthony. He was pretty good. All right, that should be everybody. Maybe we can try surrendering him with us. Yeah, they don't want to. That's not that surprising. We want to send these troops up to here. Sure, the orcs. Half, half. Um, actually just want to give out food here. Send troops over to six. All. Sure, take a bugbear. Most. Half. Same thing here. Move troops to ten. Um, take the bugbears, I guess. Half. Most. Okay. Prince Ivar, you about to get attacked. I mean, we haven't used Zendor. I'd like to, because I do like Zendor. He's he is my favorite wizard in this one. Zendor versus skeletons. Yeah, Zendor is the only. Um, wizard um, at least in the base like he's I mean they, they did they didn't change his stats at all for this he's still at 140 like that's how powerful he is um, he was the only one that could um, 
1v1 the dragon. Because of the ability, if he got the first shot off, he could take out the dragon. Because of the ability to flank every time. So. Don't want to break that one. Uh, and then same thing, like he can always... Like he... Because of the three movement, his high attack and stuff, he could always, always take out armies, like, so well on his own. And on top of that, it's just a massive lightning strike, which is fantastic. Anytime you get an attack with lightning, it's awesome. We are going to attack this skeleton first because he could come out in it and hit us. I'm not expecting that he would do much damage, but... Like, look at that. 31, gone. Get wrecked. It's like, now we'll do this and get the flank shot on this guy. And totally annihilate them. They're gone. Those archers don't exist anymore. <laughs> it's fantastic. He didn't try to build a fence, which is actually kind of funny. Half the time they do. So now we just do this until we win. come down. Fortunately, we didn't get that kill. If it was a flank shot or anything, or a rear, it would have. Well, that's okay. I'm gonna hit this guy because we can. He's gonna be the one that hits our horses, so it makes sense to do some damage. Now will they be retreating? No, they will not. So, let's just move here, take him out, and then capture the flag. Done. We haven't been able to do that yet in this one. It's kind of funny. Alright, now will they surrender to us? No. Well, we're going to continually move everything up as we can. Move our troops across the ocean. One sixty two twenty two, yeah. So we actually need some troops up here. 
Um, try plunder. Why not? Do some defecting, or uh, some sabotaging, I should say, not defecting. Everything, I guess a bugbear too. Done. Move these troops up to a 17, there we go. Just continually develop down here now that we can. Nice. Even better. Um, where do we send these troops? Also to 17, because then 17 can push them into either 18 or 11. Same thing here. Like, just get these guys into six. Send the orcs back. Actually send them all the food, because that's what it looked like we could do. Yeah, they only need 246. Fantastic. Let's just try sabotaging them. Nice. Viewing up here, 100. Can we attack with everything? We can't quite, so we'll attack with most things. Pring Empyrean, we haven't had a chance to use him yet. Five days of food. We're actually able to do that. We'll push them back. Oh, they've got gargoyles. Interesting. Okay. Well, Empyrean will be able to take them out, so... But it might hold people back a little bit here, because they can fly, so they can get into some shenanigans here. I think they can fly over the wall, so they have to go around the wall still, yeah. It's just over, like, trees and stuff. So if he goes three, then we can still hit him. Like, I kind of want you to be here, I think. Yeah, we'll just kind of figure out how this is going to work. It's more Empyrean needs to blast. Ah, he went there. That's like one of the worst spots for where I wanted him. And honestly, actually, I think I might just go right to that and see where he goes from here. See, the fences don't matter right now. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Fences don't matter because he can fly over fences, so we just need to hit him. Oh my god, that hurts. That hurt my ears. <laughs> Alright, Empyrean. to do this nice it's like I want to build a fence there but I don't want to have it actually build yeah good because if he attacks my knight there I need to be able to get back But if he runs away, that's even better. Uh, 
Um, I mean, I'll take this every day. Yeah, this is neat. Um, not having to worry about the dragon being, like, fighting him and stuff. Maybe we will in later scenarios? I don't really know. It's like, I feel like at this point, though, um, we're almost done. <laughs> two more, two more places to take over and that's it. Yeah. And I feel like it doesn't matter what kind of unit they have. Um, we have Pluvius still. So. Whatever they do, Pluvius will run through them. Gargoyles are already, like, dead. <laughs> so this is fantastic. So this is going to be one of the faster games of Gemfire I've ever played. Year three, and we were, what, in, like, January? February? Something like that? Also fantastic because we can get in here and just start blasting. Eat these arrows! Nice. I'm not even worried about flanking or anything at this point. We've got this in the bag. done here. Now will they surrender to us? They have. I know you make an honorable ruler. The victory of Uther finally ended the long war. There we go. And just like that, we have finished Gemfire. Well, that's pretty exciting. That did not take nearly as long as uh, other games of this that I played. That went actually qu quite fast. We were able to get those territories super quick and then go from there, right? So, uh, yeah, no, that was just fun. Time to let this roll. I do like these, this um, scene. And I don't remember if they changed it in the mod, too. Because, technically, like, there's no Robin or anything like that, right? Long last, Ishmeria's wars are over. The land has been unified under your rule. Let's just do that part now. The dragon being born in this one, maybe? Who knows? Thanks to your efforts, the people always remember your victories. For all the people's sake, we must rebuild Ishmaria. No longer will people die in endless wars. We can now live life to the fullest. I guess Robin's still here. 
<laughs> it is a time for celebrating, a celebration of everyone who helped bring peace. Remember this part. But do 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 do. Jamaria will prosper because of your deeds. Reign on in the name of Gemfire. Fantastic. Alright, so we've done another scenario in the Dawn of Ishmaria mod. Um that was good. I like that. I like knowing part way through or halfway through that my neighbor had Pluvius and never attacked me, so I'm very glad that they didn't. Cause they were actually kinda scary when we went against them. So Yeah. So there we go. Um that was fun. So the next time, you know, we'll either do another one. Maybe we'll hit into the, like, second scenario or something. Just kind of see what the differences are there. Because, I mean, if we take a look, can we, can we go back to menu here? <laughs> Maybe not. Because um, you can look at the different scenarios and stuff that they have. And they all do something a little bit different. So I wonder if the later ones will actually have the dragon in it or not. That would be cool. But not actually knowing, right? So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>